guys, it's Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you again. Um, today I'm doing a highly requested video. This video will be about getting back into praying again because there are a lot of Muslims out there who have fallen off and they want to get back on the right path and yeah, so I'm going to give you my ideas on what makes a strong prayer. <laughs> I think it's probably really difficult when you've fallen off so many times. When it comes to prayer, two main things I believe you need to have and I think that is love and belief in Allah and also your intention has to be good and if you don't have you know the intention if you don't have that love for Allah of course it's going to be very difficult to pray a sincere prayer and get up to pray when you need to pray because you don't have that belief and that love and that you know incentive to get up off your butt and you know go make your salah when it comes down to love for Allah I believe love for Allah comes from learning your deen and learning about Allah and one of the ways you can learn about Allah is by learning his 99 names that he has revealed to us and I say you know that's the best way to learn about him because these are his attributes these are the names that he has told us about and I believe that's for a reason and it's to bring you closer to him and help you understand who he is as your Lord when it comes to loving a law and knowing a law I think reading Quran is a big part of it and I do think you should try to it's good to recite Quran of course you know you get blessings for every letter but I also think it is good to read it in your native tongue so that you can have an understanding of what you're reading and inshallah become closer to your Lord through his holy book so I think that's another way to get closer to Allah and once you get more into knowing Allah and knowing who you're bowing to who you're um, making sujood for then you feel closer to your prayer and you have more of a connection towards your prayer as far as loving Allah goes something that really helps me is to look at his creation and the intricacy and the detail that Allah has put into his creation Allah gives us signs in so many forms and one of those forms is the beauty of his creation and all that he has put on this earth for us and his mercy and you know just learn more about that and I do believe you'll have a stronger connection to your prayer already so the next thing like I said is intention you need good intentions when you come to your prayer if you come to your prayer with the intention to hurry up and get it over with as fast as possible it's not going to mean as much to you and it's definitely not, not going to be as beneficial to you so intention is very important some of the intentions I think you should try to have are to please Allah first and foremost you're praying to please him and to gain his mercy and to gain his blessing to better your soul to cleanse your soul to purify your soul to you know hydrate your soul and give you um, purity we pray to better our condition if you're going through a lot prayer can do a lot for you and my experience when you put more effort into your prayer blessings just fall out of the sky like you know I've lately put a lot more effort into my prayer and you know take more time and um, dedicate myself to a lot more and it has really it's really showed in my everyday life like everything was going wrong and then things just started you know almost miraculously putting themselves together again and you know all I can say is that's the blessing of Allah and that's you know 
his way of bettering my condition. So alhamdulillah, if you make prayer with good intentions um, to please Allah, to better your soul, to better your condition, also you should pray to attain the biggest blessing and that is to reach paradise, inshallah, in our next life and also to see Allah in paradise. Like that's the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate reward to meet Allah in paradise. Strive for the good, strive for the better. Like, you know, think of prayer as the key to you reaching paradise, inshallah. And you know, that will be the best life, the, you know, a flawless life, a life where you can live better than you ever could here. You know? So yeah, those are the intentions that I try to have when I am making my prayer and you know, that I try to remember and focus on when praying to Allah. And it helps, you know, to get rid of the distractions. As far as starting to pray again in general, or just starting to pray for the first time, I think no one can really tell you what will make you get up and do what you're supposed to do. You have to know in your heart that that's what you need to do and you should want to do it. And some of the things that I mentioned hopefully will help you want to get up and pray to Allah. No one can really hold your hand and take you to pray when you need to pray. You have to be able to do that for yourself and depend on yourself to do better. And it may seem difficult at first, but with time, inshallah, things will get better and improve and you will rush to the prayer. There won't be hesitation when it's time for the prayer. So what I'd like to tell you guys right now who aren't praying or are praying and just not connecting to their prayer, I want you to ask yourself, how do you feel when you pray? Do you feel relaxed? Do you feel tense? Do you feel like zero connection whatsoever to who you're praying to? Do you not know who you're praying to? Are you distracted? All of these things I think you should ask yourself and then I would like for you to write down which of those things apply to you in your prayer. After you've written these things on paper, you're able to see what the problem is right in front of you and address it. You guys, prayer should never feel like a chore. And if it does, something's not right with your prayer and you need to go back to the drawing board and evaluate what's the problem. That's all I'm going to talk about for now and I will come back to this topic and expand on it. Um, I'll talk about will do and uh, things like that. I'm going to do that. Um, thank you guys so much for coming back to my video and watching it. I hope you watched the whole thing and enjoyed it. And um, I would love it if you wouldn't mind subscribing if you're enjoying my videos and sharing with other people so they can enjoy them too. And thank you so much for giving this video a click. Enjoy! Um, I'll see you guys next time, inshallah. Uh, peace out. Yeah, assalamu alaikum.